On April 6, 1945, the ship was hit by friendly fire and lost an airman. Today I'm starting this log on events happening in the Southwest Pacific. The main reason I'm writing this log is because three men in my division got killed today, April 6, 1945. And I knew them all well. It kind of gives you a funny feeling. I cannot express it right here. It seems as if tomorrow I will wake up and find it all a dream. I came so close to getting hit myself that I feel as if I was being guarded by something I cannot explain. I was on the signal bridge when it all happened. A five inch shell hit Sky 2 by the base. It was fired by one of our destroyers. I could hear the shrapnel hit against the steel on the side of me. Bryn, chief fire controlman, 21 years old, was killed from the shrapnel of the shell. He describes the wound in his diary. The best guy you could ever want to meet. Watson, fire controlman first class, was killed. He must have died instantly. He was just telling me he never wanted to take out any insurance because it was like betting the government he was going to get killed. Wow. Watson was with Brent when he got it. Karam Seaman, first class, must have been killed instantly. And I was just telling him at Chow this morning after they passed the word over the speaker for all hands to be alert that this might be his last show. I guess I was right. He lived in Tennessee and was 18 years old. He had a beautiful girl and he was a 4-0 guy. The main reason why the destroyer fired and hit us was due to the fact that a Jap suicide plane flew over our bow low to the water, even with our superstructure between us and a destroyer. Our whole port battery opened up on him. They identified him as a Judy. We shot him down and he crashed on the starboard side of the carrier. It was too late. The destroyer had already missed the plane and hit us. I hope I never see a day like that again. I went to where the bodies lay below decks so after it was all over and knelt down and prayed for them. Besides them, 44 others were wounded and one radium and lost. Gerald Cass. <laughs>